Hey boys, Trend Games here and welcome to another guide video. This guide is going to cover the major keys for dead zones. So I hope you find this helpful and if you do find it helpful, uh, subscribe if you want and thank you. Alright, let's begin. Alright, let's begin with the first key which is AG17 key. Now this key will allow you to access this room right here and many other places where you can access AG17. Now the way you get it is you go up this ladder and then right here you grab the AG17 key. And now using AG17 key we can now access AG17 which will then give us access to the one key that lets us unlock Raider Station. Now you just have to go down the stairwell to the left and then on this table near this ominous red flare right next to this medical box is RS2 key. So we have to go back up, exit out, climb up the ladder again, and then this time we climb even higher, all the way up here. And now you go this way, go up this ladder again, and then this door right here lets you open it, and then you get access to AG18 key. And then to access dead zone, you go back into AG17, down the stairwell, take a right, and just go down here, keep going, down here, take a left, and then take another, and take a right, and then down here is AG18. Now you access that. All right, and now you can get two keys down here: key for dead zone as well as key for one of the rooms in the airbase. So going this way. And then down here, through this area, and then, and then here, and then you climb up here, and you go this way, you'll be here, and then you'll be across to grab AG19 key. And now to get the other key, you just have to go simply from that direction down here. All the way to this table. Then you get access to air to one of the airbase key loot rooms. And now then with eight with proper protection, a gas mask will do, with maybe an R filter for looting, you access AG19. And now in here. You want, we're going to look for the second airbase key. So for this, we're going to go over here. Keep going. Almost there. And then to this room right here, you go past these generators all the way up to this computer area. Right here. Sacker the Sacker 2 key. So when you have these keys, you hit up Airfort or Airfield. And then going from that entrance right here all the way to this building over here, you can access one of the loot rooms. This loot room has a key for the dead zone bunker. Right here, what you have to do is look underneath, and yep, it's right here. And now going back to the dead zone, and now that we're back at this place with that special key, you can access this room right here, which gives us access to a various amount of scrappable explosives, such as these ammo belts, more ammo belts, HE ammo belts, which give explosive compound with scrap missiles, AP shells. So this doesn't lead to an R key, but this is definitely a key you would want if you're trying to prioritize on raiding or just material nonetheless. And now for Fort Nell. Fort Nell is a secondary dead zone where you will need a full biohazard suit to actually sustain yourself. These biohazard suits can be crafted with lead. Uh, lead can be found in the bunker dead zones, so just get a few filters, explore around the bunker dead zones, get yourself some lead, and you can craft the suit, then you're good to go. And now I'm going to show you where to get these keys. First, we'll start off with going to Point November. Now right here, when you enter from this entrance, you go over to this white building right here. 
and then this one's a little hard but look under here and you have access to this key now now that key is all we need to get us started in entering fort now now entering fort now you're gonna look for a certain room now crossing through here now right here now going from just anywhere finding a3 here you can get some nice special loot that's an eagle high tier armor well at this you can get access to a5 now a5 you can go all the way over here and this is more of just a, a shortcut from not having to take the huge amount of stairs you can just go all the way up here and boom you're on the second floor and now if you have a rescue saw you can access this room b2 And you can enter this room, which is a highly valuable room. It can spawn all sorts of military grade stuff. But what we want right now is the key, which lies on this table, B4. And now we just head over to B4. And this will allow us to enter this room and get our hands on a Barrett 50 caliber rifle. The most powerful sniper on the map. There is, however, one room, but this is more quest-oriented, which is B14. B14 is a room that al that you can enter, which allows you to get the dossier that spawns around here. It's also an intelligence room, so you can get secure folders, hard drives, CDs, discs, and whatnot. Anything intelligence-related, but this key would mostly be used for it, would be in one of the final quests. Now, where would you find the final quest? Now the thing about this key is you'll most likely find it since one of the quests requires you to go all the way up to certain radio towers and mark them with flares. But I believe it is this tower that will hold the key for the final dossier quest. It obviously won't show up right now because I didn't activate the quest, but once you get to a certain point, it will spawn there, you will eventually find it, and you can get access to that room. Now we're gonna move on to two unrelated keys. These are still pretty, these are still nice keys to have because they allow you to get in to restricted areas for a little bit of extra loot. Now the first key we'll start with is for bank zone. Now what you want to do is when entering the main city, go to this go to this building and then walk all the way back to this area, this sort of storage area, and then behind this metal sheet will be B2 key. Now what B2 key does is it allows you to access a room within this building. This room more specifically, which is on the second story. And this will give you access to all these briefcases. And you can get valuable stuff like I just got the sorted coin, that's like 400. Green floppy disk for quests, money for scrapping into cloth. So in it of itself, it's a real, it's a pretty decent room. Now the next room is for gun store. This tiny little store right there. So what you want to do is go to apartment B and go all the way up to room seven. Now when you enter room seven, there's nothing. If you check under this chair, there is gun shop key. Now this is a fairly decent key because it allows you to get access to these back rooms in the shop. So I go up here, open the door, you can get some attachments, uh, guns can spawn in here. There's also a rangefinder blueprint which you can just take and now you can craft the rangefinder. I do not know how to craft it, but you can craft it. But anyways, I hope that was helpful. A massive thanks to Renexon for helping me. Thank you for tuning in and I hope you did enjoy this video. Alright, thank you for watching and bye!